What's up guys, it's Missy. I am back with another SimCity build a video. Today we're gonna to be talking about what high level players struggle with in the contest of mayors. Why I recommend people restart is similar to kind of what goes on for high level players. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because a lot of players will come to me and I've been level 99 for a while. They come to me and they're like, but I can't do this because of this, this, and this, or you just don't understand. It's so hard to do this, this, and this. Oh, please, I understand more than anybody, okay? I've played comp competitively for pretty much five straight years. Uh, I did take some time off from playing competitively, but I know what you're going through. I've been playing this game a very long time, okay? Now, we're gonna talk about what it is that high-level players go through so that you know that you are not the only one. Now, before we get started, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Join us on Facebook at SimCity Build It Missy NYT. We also have a Discord, which will be in the, the uh, description below. And you can also comment below if you have any questions. Okay, we recently hit 2000 subscribers, which is awesome. Make sure that you are one of those people. Now, what do high level players go through for the contest of mayors? Well, let's start with the inventory. The inventory, trying to keep your items well prepped is a nightmare, right? All you high level players know exactly what I'm talking about. The people who have regional maps unlocked, more than one specifically, are also going to uh, have an exceptionally hard time balancing inventory because of those regional tasks. The regional tasks, they require not only, uh, you know, you've got house upgrades, you've got regional currency tasks, regional factory production, regional production, regional HQ. You've got all these different tasks. And in order to be well prepped for epics, flights, anything really, um, you have to make sure that you have a decent amount of each regional item. Now, you do get 20 extra storage per one regional map. You buy a facility uh, for 5,000 regional currency. This does not do the job, however, right? Because you need basically like 20 of each item in order to guarantee or at least halfway guarantee that you're going to be able to do a coins task if need be, okay? So I know that a lot of you guys are having trouble with inventory. Now, inventory is exceptionally problematic because it doesn't just have to do, it also has to do with how you're spending your inventory. If you're somebody who is selling items that you shouldn't be selling, then you have to make those items back later because you don't find them on the global market. So ask yourself, are you selling things that you can really afford to sell? Is it costing you money later by not being able to produce money-making items and having to produce back the items that you're selling? That is a huge problem for high-level players because they don't have the space to hold everything that they want to hold, but they don't want to sell their good items, okay? So balancing your inventory is a nightmare. The next thing is knowing where to spend what inventory. So for example, a lot of you guys probably make this mistake more than, more than one time in any round of comp. And that is that when you have a green check mark for anything, whether it be, let's say a repair that you had to do, let's say you're doing a launch 3VU and you have to do repairs, or let's say that you had a key assignment, so you're doing repairs, and you have that little green check mark. How often do you look at the materials that it's asking for before you just decide to pay for it? Now, the reason that this is problematic is because oftentimes it will ask you for backpacks, microwaves, drills, yogurt, you know, things that are not easy to locate on the global market and either take a long time to make or have little to no uh, resale value. Now, the, the one thing, however, that is, is really problematic is when you have regional upgrades or things that you're doing on your regional map and you're not paying attention and you do an upgrade and you're not paying attention to how many regional items it's costing because you have that green check mark you don't care you want to get it done you're just like eh whatever and you pay the price do not do that be 
because what's going to happen is later on you're not going to have any of these items that you need what you should be doing is every time that you travel to another map quickly scan through your your construction hats look at the ones that cost a ridiculous amount you know the ones that are asking for like three yoga mats and three uh, flip-flops or something and refresh those so that when the time comes you don't have all of these really ridiculously expensive upgrades now same thing kind of goes for the repairs and things like that don't spend your hard to get items on easy stuff like that okay just be very very careful where your items are actually going because believe it or not it is really going to hurt you later okay another thing for high level players is coin okay now a lot of times with high level players you have to leave uh, a lot of your factory productions to sit you know maybe you produced yogurts or cakes or fire pits or whatever and you're leaving them sit in case you get an assignment for it do not first off do not just conveniently do an assignment because it's there and you have the items already done let's say you get a yogurt task for 1200 or something don't do it more than likely what's going to happen is it's going to come back at some point possibly and if it does it's going to be uh, quite a long time right so take that as a win and say look now i know that i can clear out this yogurt and prep a cake because cake or coffee or whatever because i know that the yogurt's there it's there below value it's not going to be a problem to me right now i usually either prep yogurt or cake i don't typically prep coffee uh then with the the garden store i either prep fire pits or mowers gnomes i usually get gnomes quite a bit but not really super of a high high value so i don't really try to do that one too much but just be aware that you got to do what's right over what's convenient and i know that for high level players that is not easy to do the contest of mayors is not something that you can do every single week without extensive gameplay as a high level player okay and by high level i mean like it gets really competitive when you get to like 80 and beyond so keeping up on your inventory keeping up on your money keeping up on your tokens and making sure that you know you are you're not using more than you're bringing in which is why epics are so valuable to you guys which is why on the missy's building guide you guys have so many of them at a lower uh, level and that's why i had you guys do so many at a lower level so that you had them available to you later when it really really matters and because you also were able to pay a fraction of the price because you did all of yours at a lower level whereas most people don't actually get into doing gold epics until after level 43 and then it costs them three times as much as it costs you guys on the missy's building guide now another thing that high level players struggle with is war card upgrades because they are either players that didn't understand the value of them and so they upgraded them you know super quickly and what this did was it basically made it to where now their war card upgrades are so damn expensive that they can't really afford to do that task when it comes up or they're the type of player who does not like war and they try to not participate in that feature of the game and this will greatly hurt you later. So if you're somebody who maybe isn't in a club that does war or uh, you don't like it, so you just simply don't play it, you are missing out, okay? You're not supposed to play it competitively to be successful. All you have to do is play it for what is required of you to be successful. For example, putting up enough points to unlock cards so that you have them available to you to do those upgrades by participating just enough to get the victory or the defeat prize which if it's a defeat it's not that great but if it's a victory in a6 you get 120 cash a week for two wins of war and then all of the other stuff that you get like the cash and the platinum keys now it you cannot 
just avoid launch legendary attacks, rare attacks, uh, common attacks, launch attacks in club wars, you know, upgrading war cards. There's so many premium. All of those, besides the common war attack, were premium assignments. War deliveries is also premium. That is, there's several right there that are premium tasks that you are not allowing yourself to do. That is a big problem. One of them is even a high premium. So again, you can't just pick and choose what aspects of the game you want to participate in and expect to be successful. Now, again, you can be successful in the lower uh, level brackets for high level players. And, but what I mean by that is if you are below level 80, you are not in with the big dogs, so to speak. You know, you're still in the easy spots. So if you're having trouble in the easy spots, you're gonna be swamped and stomped to the ground when you get in with people who really know what they're doing, okay? Now, I win a majority of the comms that I play as a level 99 player with all five maps unlocked. That is not an easy task, let me assure you, okay? It requires a significant amount of my time. And when I mean significant, I mean pretty much all day, every day, all week. Because when I'm not actually doing assignments, I'm preparing for them or I'm preparing for the following week. Just because I finish calm, let's say two or three days early, does not mean that I have two or three days to just do nothing. I have to prep for the following week. I have to get my coins back up. I have to get my, my houses back up. For example, one thing that you guys will notice is when you are a high level player, uh, you may have to do epic projects, right? And when you do them as a high level player, it's because they are usually in the 2000 or higher points bracket. That being said, when you do that, you have to have a fully upgraded regular residential home. Now, you preferably need them on as many maps as possible so that if you get another epic assignment that you have to do, that you have it available on another map. Okay, so again, you can't just afford to, on your, on your side time, burn through all your epics, burn through all your inventory, burn through all your coins, and then play calm the rest of the week and expect to be successful. At some point, it's gonna catch up with you. At some point, you're gonna need multiple cities to try to feed that city. You're gonna run low on coins. It's gonna run you out of inventory for your prep, and it's just overall gonna be too much for you to take in. So you can do epics and calm at the same time, but again, you can't do it, you can't do multiple of them for long periods of time without running yourself into the ground. It's possible, anything's possible, okay? When it comes to this game, it's, it's a matter of how much time you want to devote. Now, it, again, is it's one of those things where you have to prioritize your spending, you have to prioritize your inventory, you have to say, you know what? I need this more than I need that. So even though I need both, I gotta sacrifice something, okay? What do I sacrifice and how much of it and why? You know, everything is going to be a challenge for you guys, more so than the average player. The more regionals you have unlocked, the more expensive everything's gonna be and the harder it's gonna be, okay? You're gonna get more possible, uh, Okay, let me explain this. You're gonna get more possibilities for regional coins assignments. However, the regional coins assignments will be easier to complete with the regard that you have multiple HQs unlocked. So if you get a regional HQ assignment, for example, you'll be able to do that assignment more frequently than you are able to at, with only one map unlocked. But that doesn't necessarily make it easier in a lot of ways, it can make it more expensive. Then you have to take into consideration that you now have all of these extra items that you have to hold on to and that you have to prep for. And those are not easily prepped. For example, the robes, they take paint and blue techs. Well, blue techs aren't a big deal, but the paint's kind of a big deal. The motors, those take drills. That's, again, kind of a big deal. Cuts into your money making time. Now. All of the uh, regional maps have the long, the, well, the long regional item, like the one that takes like three plus hours. 
that one in particular is a nightmare in general. So prepping your regional shop to have those done ideally is the best way to go about it because if you get an assignment for that, it's the same thing as yogurt, okay? Same thing as, as fire pits. It's going to take you one token for every about three items. So if you get one for making 10 items, you're looking at four tokens, okay? Which sucks. So trust me when I say this, I know exactly what you guys go through as high level players. It is not an easy task to stay prepped. It's not easy to do assignments just because they're the right choice. It is not easy. You know, you guys end up having a situation where it's like, okay, this is the right choice. This is what I should do but I've already done this assignment three times. I'm out of inventory, but this is what I have to do. And you, you just, you have to do it. You know, you gotta find a way to do it. And that's not always the easiest, you know, way to go about it. And the more you go up in level, and the reason I say this is because if you were going against competition that wasn't doing the same, it would be easier and you'd be able to win without playing so strict. But the higher up you go in level, the more strict and the harder it is that you have to play. Those people above you don't make those sacrifices. They don't say, well, I've already done this, this coins task three times. It's going to cost me an arm and a leg to get it done for a fourth. I'm just not going to do it. The people above you don't do that. They just sacrifice. They say, you know what? I don't care if it costs me two arms and and two legs, I'm going to get it done. And you end up losing what you did put in because you didn't put in enough. It's one of those things where it's all in or it's nothing. Okay. If you're going to play calm as a high level player, you got to be all in. Now, again, with you guys between levels, what? I'd say level 30 to 80, you have a spot where it just it slowly gets harder and harder and harder but once you hit level 80 and up it just it gets ridiculous i'm talking the the top 10 players usually are within hundreds or 1000 points of each other you think that they took a loss on a thousand points if they didn't have to hell no you know damn well that every one of those players use every last ticket they use every ticket every week okay in these leagues with you guys at the lower leagues you're able to to, say you know what i'm going to save these 10 tickets you don't get that luxury as a high level player in the big leagues you know as a level 99 player especially it is all in every week no exceptions So if you end up as a level 80 or 90 player and you don't have enough tickets, well, you're screwed. I mean, that's just how it is. Now, when you invest this much of your cash and your time and your your resources, everybody is. Everybody who's playing competitively in your league is paying the cash to bring those flights in. They're busting their ass and they want to win too and they're gonna do whatever it takes to win. So you can't half-ass it and expect to win. And you trust me when I say this, you do not want to lose over a couple thousand points. And then you'll think back to that, that time, that point in your week where you decided to do something of less value for your convenience, and you'll kick yourself all week for doing that. And trust me, it's not a good feeling. Okay, and you'll start to learn real quick. You will learn very, very quickly what is expected of you and when you're screwing up and when you're not screwing up. And once you realize what is expected of you, you're either going to quit and say, screw it, I'm done. Or you're going to say, you know what? I got this. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do it right. And that makes you one of the people at the top. And then you're the one sitting next to me singing the same song and dance that I'm singing to you guys right now. Okay? Okay. So, again, you guys, you just got to, you got to give it your all, okay? Now, if you're in the lower leagues, if you're below level 80 and you have minimal tickets and you can afford to, t- to save some, then you should, okay? Because 
I'm noticing that a lot of players are, they're, they're saving tickets at the wrong time. You know, they're, they're saving them when they could have had first place and that's ridiculous. Or they're spending them in the lower leagues when the lower leagues don't even matter. Or they're spending them when they don't have to. You know, so watch my ticket videos. Try to, you know, understand when to use them, when not to use them. Basically, if you have a 50, 40, 50, 60K lead, that's really not that much. You know, it's really, really not. Think about how quickly you add 50 or 60K to the leaderboard. Also think about the streaks, okay? Just completing six streaks alone on the bonus points alone. Think about that. That's 48,000 right there on just the bonus points. Okay, so a 40K lead is nothing. It's absolutely nothing. Be careful how many you try to save. Do know that people will knock you down the very last day, the very last hour. And if you don't keep on top of it, you'll wake up you know, six, seven place values down and you'll be sitting there going, well, should have done that. Should have just, should have just given it my all because I would have had it. Okay. So good luck to you guys. Hopefully that helps you uh, know that you're not alone, that you just, you have to do what you can to prep better. And, uh, you know, you got to basically tighten the, tighten the belts a little bit. You got to make sure that you are doing whatever it takes to win, that you're not cutting corners anymore. And it's never too early to practice. You know, it. you really do need to make sure that you get this figured out because once you get into the level 80 and stuff, you're, you're gonna lose and you're gonna lose a lot and you're gonna get frustrated and it's gonna eventually either gonna cause you to quit playing competitively or it's gonna end up costing you way more and then you're gonna have to earn it all back, okay? So good luck.